have a problem with um, the opioid epidemic. Um, people are dying across our state, very broadly, you know, in all regions uh, of the state. M Open stands for the Michigan Opioid Prescribing and Engagement Network. It's supported by IHPI here at the University of Michigan, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Michigan, and the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. We went to high school about a mile away and asked how many of your kids can get your hands on opioids. And I think about half the kids raised their hand. So these things are in our communities. And extra opioids was the primary target of what we were trying to minimize in the state of Michigan. So we hosted hundreds of opioid drives across the entire state and um, tried to get them out of communities. Hopefully, after all the work that many have done, much less access to opioids than there used to be. But there are some people who take opioids and they are very vulnerable to getting kind of stuck on them. The emergency department really has uh, an opportunity as an important care setting that I think traditionally has rarely been identified or leveraged. There's opportunities to provide harm reduction and it's been wonderful to partner with uh, Michigan Open on a set of work uh, focused on improving the care for patients with opioid use disorder in our emergency departments, focused on providing naloxone, which is a antidote to those patients that overdose on opioids. And we're also focused on buprenorphine. Um, this is a medication that's been shown to be beneficial as a maintenance kind of medication for patients. Uh, with opioid use disorder and make sure that we have a program where we are consistently providing that medication for patients who are discharged. I think the conversation should start before the prescription happens. Dentists or the surgeons may say, well, patients do need opioids most commonly after these procedures and the appropriate sized opioid prescription should be given. Um, but best care for most patients involves a pathway where other medications that are not opioids are used primarily, and opioids are used kind of as a fallback, we as physicians are contributing to this problem. So there's this very emotional kind of link to the opioid epidemic for all of the nurses and doctors. So all we had to do is kind of create, you know, an easier way or a pathway for change. I think we were lucky in that context that the emotional piece was so relevant to everyone involved and that we had access to such good data to kind of tell an evidence-based story. Mm -hmm.